at the very beginning, before a patient knows who you are and where if you even exist, they have to find you through some means. And once they do that and they're willing to give you personal information that's emotionally driven, this is what increases your patient base and your patient and your and your practice valuation. This is the grassroot. This form is one of many in the grassroot patient acquisition and increasing your hourly chair revenue when somebody is answering questions that are intimate and that they're not going to give you with a pencil and a clipboard in your waiting room, all right? So we're talking today and everything revolves around the outcome, which is getting someone to answer these questions. And in this case, the GM of a medium-sized company who wants implants, all right? And so this is what is going to increase your hourly chair revenue. And the case studies that we're going to be talking about today is how does the dental implant funnel work? And a visual explanation of the science behind patient application and emotional driven outreach. Okay, so the sample blueprint of the funnel that converts 60 or monthly or more patient qualification forms across 70 different markets across the globe. And in terms of those, what we just looked at, which is 60 or more of those types of forms that I just showed you and 60 or more patients that are filling out that form. Um, you know, this is the blueprint and the blueprint when you're looking at it in simplicity is just a number and a series of steps that we know that the patient is already going to take. And that as a decision maker, when I'm looking, I know, what path I'm going to take prior to taking it. So if I'm you know, looking for an Italian restaurant, for instance, or I'm looking for a restaurant in a new city, um, then I know what path I'm looking for and what I'm looking for. And at that point, I'm going to end up somewhere. And somewhere's gonna, someone is going to get my money that night. All right? So same thing in dental. If you want to set yourself apart, you need to do something different. And that is step one is educating. All right? So this is the blueprint. We're going to go through each step here. But as you can see, in, as an overview, we've got step one, which is your authority and your targeting. Step two, which is generally you proving your competency. Step three, which is capture. All right. Step four, which is booking and calling. Step five, which is getting the deposit and so on, quoting and so on. Um, you know, after this process, there's another step that's taken on the side, which, you know, obviously still positions you um, as the authority by educating them further through email, which then also prompts them to book in your calendar or book, you know, a consultation with you and so on. But this is the part that we're going to be talking about today, which is step one, discovering who you are. Step two, you proving your competency. And step three, the research component. And step four could be the click to call. All right. And a lot of times it's these components here that comprise of the initial steps in patient outreach and where that form came from. All right. That form is here at this step. Okay. So step one, we educate. We use major news publications, major authority publications across the display network. Uh, YouTube TV is extremely effective. And we target folks that are in, you know, 55 or more, uh, 55 plus, sorry, um, and are in certain demographics where they're making more than a certain income level. Um, and we know what those postal codes and what those zip codes look like, right? And so the tools we use for this generally, um, Google Display, Unbounce, ClickFunnels, Wufu, as well as a combination of native forms, Call Rail, Rail Active Campaign, Garu, and we use our tool, which is Dentiza, all right? Dentiza could, you know, brings everything together. We're going to show you that dashboard in a quick second. Um, and really what happens here is we start at the very grassroots, which is with education, all right? And positioning ourselves in major news publications and positioning your practice in major news publications. So what happens when you stop selling and start educating your potential patients? Well, the outcome is patients will apply on a daily basis. And you can see these are when the ads run. These are the people that applied. And this is just an export um, from actually Unbounce. Um, you know, number of Gmails, uh, actual email addresses that they left, uh, whether or not they wanted the consultation, and, um, you know, and their phone number, right, for, con you know, for contact. And these are all, we separated these by this particular area in Toronto for this, you know, purposes of this video. Um, step two, okay, which is here, step two, we're positioning ourselves and you as the authority. All right. So, you know, 
When I say ourselves, by the way, I'm referring to the campaigns that are being run for you. All right. So you're being positioned as an authority and it's, you know, your landing page really is being given one option only. And that's, that's one of the ways that we make sure that we get the conversion rate we want. They're not confusing, right? And we position you through various guides, video and competency, um, content, right? So we use different, you know, modes of content in the Google display ads and in different, you know, advertising mediums to make sure that your competency is well positioned. So when we get back to step one, step two, which we just just discussed, and we get to step three, which was the form fill, all right? Um, that's the capture and the convert. And that's where we get that email, phone number, person's name, and we ask them a series of questions. And as we looked at in that first example, being a GM of a medium-sized company, he's looking for an implant and he's looking for a detail-oriented dentist, which we hope all dentists are. Um, and he's coming to you in this step here. All right. So patients are applying, but what about the others that wanted to research you? Well, what happens here is they call you directly. So this is the Dentiza dashboard, and this shows the amount of impressions, you know, in a one-month period. So October 1st to the 31st. Um, you know, views in Google, you know, your social comments and shares and, and the amount of, you know, post reach that you that you received from the managed team, um, as well as, you know, how many ad conversions you had in that particular month and the amount of phone calls that directly came in your practice. And there's a direct relationship, as you can see from the webinar that we did. There was a webinar recently that we did um, that you can find uh, after this video uh, that discussed the relationship between this number, this number and these calls, right? And so what happens is, is when we look at what our conversion rate is, which is calls as well as form fills, and we look at health, well, generally, according to the studies and the data that's been gathered, and you can find this publicly, um, health is around 0.75% in display, okay, display network, and about 4.6%. 4% you know, in the, on the search network, which is your ads appearing above the map results, right? So let's look at those numbers that actually increase your hourly chair revenue. And we're going to look at a few practices, right? We'll look at Varoche Dentures and Niagara Falls, all right? So uh, extremely brilliant entrepreneurs, very good at what they do, and they send each other a lot of cases. And when we're out there and we are going after full art surgery, we're going after... Um, Patients that can, uh, you know, afford or that need implants. Um, what we're looking at here is the amount of people that left their name and email and phone number. All right. And that is this number here, which is 42 and 47. Okay. So if you look at a little bit closer, you know, for $1,500, um, they received about 42 conversions, which was about name, email and phone number. And, you know, whether or not they wanted that consultation in these, in this case, we identify and define a conversion as somebody saying yes. And that conversion rate absolutely smashes the indice average. So, you know, when you're looking at getting people to apply and knowing who your practice is, and then them telling other people who you are, those numbers are very important. And they're much less, if you've ever advertised in search, they're much less than search. 81 cents to get that click. They had 1,800 clicks on that one particular landing page. So 1,800 people, you know, a portion of them researched who they are, a portion of them took an action, a portion of them did nothing, right? But it cost them 81 cents as opposed to $7. So they got in front of a lot more people. Markham Dental, Claudia Chan, brilliant entrepreneur, very good at what she does, actually coming out with a, a course very soon um, that we'll have on here um, that discusses exactly the operational efficiencies of how she runs her practice. Um, but again, same thing, right? In her case, it's 96 conversions. So 96 people left her name and email and phone number at a cost of 70 cents. I mean, it's, it's dirt, you know, cheap in terms of Google marketing, right? To get out in front of the amount of people you need to get out in front of. I mean, 2,000 people a month, um, you know, that could potentially be interested. 96 people left their name, email, and phone number, right? That's a really important stat. And as you can see here, a 4 0.41% conversion rate, which absolutely smashes the industry average. Okay, so the next example we'll look at is Seven Day Dental. And this is in the US, this is in Anaheim. As you can see here, this is an extreme example. So he has actually an 18% conversion rate 
235 people generally leave. Now, his campaign is a little bit different. We're asking just for name and email up front, and then what they do is they go through and fill the form. So out of those 235 people, um, or let's say 516 people that month that filled out the form um, or filled out to get the guide, to get their initial uh, educational guide, all right? We looked at in that step one. Um, With 516 people, about, you know, uh, 20% to 30% of them filled out the form. Okay, so, uh, you know, where we're they actually answered the questions, all right? So they get a ton of volume, but they also get a ton of calls directly in the practice, all right? And we're going to look at that very quickly. We're going to look at, um, you know, these forms, okay, that get submitted. As you can see, you know, form number 418, form number 1182, okay? Predictable results, right? 715 forms that was submitted in nine months. But the calls that come into the practice. And if we're looking at, say, seven-day dental, and you look at the amount of ad conversions they got in October 2021, so that was 226, they had 714 calls, right, directly into the practice. Whereas a practice that wasn't too far away from them that does nothing got 48 calls. So it's much different, right, when you're actually doing something and you're in front of people. Um, You know, again, seven-day dental, we looked at this month, right, which is the November 2022, 494 conversions, all right? So we're, you know, um, between Google and the data that came through on this dashboard, uh, they were short about 16 based on the date difference, okay? So about 700 plus phone calls that came into the practice. Yet, a practice that, you know, isn't too far away from them in Irvine, California, got 48. So big difference. So the difference is, is that when you look at those forms and you look at the conversion and and the steps, in step four, you need to convert those that didn't take an action. And that's what we do, right? So we go to Google Maps, Bing Maps, Apple Maps, email and different mediums to create that consistent action. If you create a consistent action, there should be a predictable reaction, right? And should is actually will, okay? So let's just change that to will be a predictable reaction. And that's how it works. Emotional moment of decision helps you increase revenue. Educate reputation, show your empathy, prove your competency, and you will get more patients applying and filling out forms where they answer questions that you need in order to have them progress to the next portion in the sales cycle, which is the trust, empathy, and getting over their anxiety and getting to the next stage, which is leaving you a deposit. So if you want to try the funnel, there's no contracts. There's no work required by you. We don't need anything. You know, this is not a long-term contract. It's a monthly contract and there's no work required by you. All right. So month to month, you can cancel at any time and you can just try and you will see the volume. And we have very few people that see that type of volume that want to turn that off. We keep it simple. Increase your hourly chair revenue and attract more patients that are qualified. So if you want to learn more, Just be the practice that gets more calls and applications daily. Go to thatsmilingdentist.com forward slash strategy session and apply and we'll be happy to guide you through this person.